Hello YouTube, uh, what we got here is a USB stick uh, made by SanDisk. Uh, once again one of our followers uh, saw one, uh, one of the videos we posted and sent it in for repair. Uh, we're looking at a uh, USB stick that uh, didn't have any uh, significant signs of failure, it just uh, kind of didn't get recognized at all. So. Um, Looking at this thing when it's out of its enclosure, first thing that we noticed uh, when we zoomed in on it is that the very first pin, as you can see, uh, the top one is looking pretty good and still attached. The bottom one, uh, sorry, the second one from the top started kind of cracking, but it's still attached as well. So is the third one, but the number four, uh, the, the lowest pin, had, uh, had been lifted off. Now, when I say lifted, I mean like the pad is completely turned off from the board. You can see that gap there, okay? So that pin is no longer making any connection. Sometimes if the anchor points, which are right on the side there, had bro broken loose and you, uh, you know, um, wiggle it while the... Um, unit is plugged in into a USB port you may be able to uh, temporarily reestablish that connection so the card would come up uh, as recognized and you would be able to copy your files quickly as long as you hold the unit in the still position but in our case the anchors are still pretty good and solid uh, even though there is some cracking um, of the solder right at the, at the joint right here we're not going to worry about it, uh, since the rest of the pins look pretty good, what we're going to do, instead of removing the entire connector, we're going to actually cheat a little bit here. Um, right where the pad is supposed to lead, there is a small track right there. Now what we're going to do is we're going to scrape it up, add a little bit of solder on to it, and run a small piece of wire to connect the dots so I'm just gonna go ahead and do the prep work and I'll show you what I'm talking about once it's done All right so this is what the pad uh, is gonna look like once we scraped off uh, the coating off of it you see the little shiny uh, copper part behind the pin that we're gonna be resoldering so we're gonna add a little flux to it and uh, with the help of um, really sharp point on the soldering iron we're gonna reach in and uh, add a little bit of solder to it. All right, so this is uh, as close as I could get in with the camera. Alright, so what I've done here is I added solder to that scraped up bad position and I pushed the, the pin that was turned off the printed circuit board closer towards that scraped up pad that I that I just created and hopefully that gives us solid enough connection to power up all four pins of our unit so I'm gonna give this a try right now and uh, we'll see if this is gonna solve our problem but before uh, I would also add a little bit of solder to the anchor points of the USB so that it's it's a bit more solid and uh, the pin that we just soldered on won't break uh, as soon as we plug this back into a USB port. Alright, so uh, this is our damaged unit that we just finished um, repairing. Um, since it's all exposed like that, I don't want to um, hold on to it as I plug it in to avoid shortening stuff. We could potentially wrap it in. Uh, 
electrical tape or something like that or put it back into enclosure but uh, I'm just gonna use an extension cord for that and that's what I recommend to use for um, these kinds of situations uh, just gonna set it aside right here and um, it's a bit awkward and that's old All right, so it's connected now and it's flashing, so that's a good sign. And I'm just looking here and uh, that's, uh, that's our drive. So if um, you guys have similar problems um, with the USB sticks not being recognized, please uh, don't hesitate to um, give us a shout uh, best way to reach us is definitely give us a call phone number is 613-366-4232 uh, if you're calling a long distance uh, or you can call our uh, toll-free number which is 1-855-366-4232 visit our website uh, submit your form through contact us page or you can just send us an, an email straight uh, to info at hddrecovery.ca